Welcome back to Singer Dad Reacts. My name is Josh. I'm here to do another new artist reaction uh, for Disturbed, The Sound of Silence. So this is a group that, at least to my knowledge, I've never heard before. Um, and one of the reasons that I'm choosing this reaction is actually because my oldest son Parker said I needed to check these guys out and I see other reactors uh, doing this reaction and um, getting blown away as far as from the comments and things that I see on the videos. So I definitely wanted to check them out. So I'm going to jump right in with the lyrics here as I normally do. For those of you that are new to my channel, so I'm a classically trained vocalist and uh, I love to get the full experience for the artists that I react to, which means that um, I like to go through and and read through the lyrics and talk about you know what stands out to me and what kind of a story I feel like the the artist is trying to tell through the the music and the lyrics and um, and then during the course of the performance I love to listen for the emotion and try to feel the the message and the the power of, of the performance and also talk about you know how each of the artists is creating the sound and some of the vocal styles that they use and and things like that and um, it's a constant learning experience as well for me um, to kind of hear new you know styles and new techniques and and uh, I learn as well from a lot of you because a lot of you are very um, educated on vocal technique and things like that and so you you know bring up things like that in your comments so I appreciate that very much Anyway, so I'm going to dive right in here. Um, Sound of Silence, of course, uh, written by Paul Simon. Um, Hello, darkness, my old friend. I've come to talk with you again. Because a vision softly creeping left its seeds while I was sleeping. And the vision that was planted in my brain still remains within the sound of silence. In restless dreams, I walked alone, narrow streets of cobblestone. Neath the halo of a street lamp, I turned my collar to the cold and damp. When my eyes were stabbed by the flash of a neon light that split the night and touched the sound of silence. And in the naked light, I saw 10,000 people, maybe more, people talking without speaking, people hearing without listening, people writing songs that voices never share, and no one dared disturb the sound of silence. Fools, said I, you do not know. Silence like a cancer grows. Hear my words that I might teach you. Take my arms that I might reach you. But my words like silent raindrops fell and echoed in the wells of silence. And the people bowed and prayed to the neon god they made, and the sign flashed out its warning in the words that it was forming. And the sign said, The words of the prophets are written on the subway walls and tenement halls and whispered in the sounds of silence. Wow. These words are incredible here. I could spend an entire reaction just kind of dissecting these lyrics. Hello, darkness, my old friend. It's all about this vision, right? Um, and dreams. So it talks a lot about visions and dreams. Um, he walked alone. This is fairly relevant for today, right? People talking without speaking. People hearing without listening, right? So is there a lot of that going on in the world where... Maybe people are are hearing what's being said, but not actually listening to the words. Um, in other words, pondering it, studying it, understanding it, objectively looking at what's being said. Um, people writing songs that voices never share, and no one dared. So it's it kind of talks a lot about not really standing up for your rights and and your beliefs and your values uh, which there is a lot of that in the world today silence like a cancer grows right so it's like 
um, a widespread kind of thing that happens where people don't really stand up for themselves. It, has to, it comes back to that First Amendment right we have, as Americans at least, um, that freedom of speech. Um, yeah, so that's that's my take on it, is kind of this message about really listening to what people are saying and, and thinking through things and not... Um, just kind of dwelling in silence and never really stepping forward and defending the things that um, you believe in, the, the values that you you know that will help us all as a society type thing, right? Um, so that's kind of my take. Uh, let's see what Disturbed is going to make of this song. I'm excited to uh, to see what they have here. Um, so just real quick, those of you, like I said, that are new or that haven't already, if you could please click on subscribe, click on the notifications bell, um, so that you can hear uh, of more of my disturbed reactions or any others you may be interested in. I would appreciate that. Thank you. say that like the imagery is just stunning here that they have just kind of leading into this so they've got like the guitars like covered in dirt like it, they're digging this stuff up right it almost and I could just be drawing parallels here but it almost seems like the music itself he, he's kind of creating this parallel with the, the silence with the music and not bringing the music forward that needs to be you know sung and and brought forward right so maybe that's why the digging up of the guitar and things like that and the piano as well right so the piano was in pieces um the piano was like kind of torn apart and all that as well so maybe that's what it is there's this parallel to the music being silenced and it needs to come forward and and carry its power right and that's i talk about that a lot on my channel really um as far as the power of music and the, the power that it has to give us hope inspire us entertain us and bring us all together, you know, regardless of where we come from in the world, right? So, I like that. I'm not sure if that's what they were going for, but uh, that's interesting. As far as his voice, um, he's got a very rich timbre to his voice, and there's a nice resonance to it as well. Um, but he is, stylistically, like others who have sung this song, he's ending the consonants soon right do 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 end right so closing off the ending uh consonants so it's just a it's a stylistic thing that a lot of the artists that, that sing this particular song have chosen to do and i think it goes well with this kind of this this whole like silence right because you're kind of silencing the sound you're 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 kind of cutting the sound short right so interesting 
So let me go back just a little bit here. Yeah, see, there's the guitar. It's all filled. <laughs> it almost causes me pain to see like a guitar like that in that condition. The piano is for, as well, right? Because I love the piano. That was planted in my brain. Still remain. There's a drum. Within the sound of silence. In restless dreams, I walked alone. Narrow streets of cobblestone. Nice. The halo of a stream lamp. I turn my color to the There's a little bit different melody there. Nice. When my eyes were stand by the flash of a neon light that split the night and touched the sound of silence. got a voice he covers a lot of ground too I like his voice a lot I was wondering how it was gonna sound when he kind of got to the higher part but he's hitting it no problem he's got a nice sound to his voice it's a very it's a very pure tone he's right on the pitch I mean he's not he's not uh, I've talked about it before. I have like relative pitch, so I can hear if they're an eighth of a step flat or you know anything like that. And he's he's been right on through the course of this song, and and I love, like I said, the visual imagery of the video is really cool. I want to go back a little bit to kind of hear that again here, but I'm wondering what these people, yeah, so they're they're writing these songs that that voices will never hear, right? So again, it's all about they have these thoughts, they have these visions and dreams, but they're not bringing it forward. They're not allowing it to be heard. That's what this kind of means to me from what I see here. This part here is where he went high. I want to hear that again. 10,000 people maybe Nice resonance. People talking without speaking. People hearing without listening. People writing songs. And voices never nice. share. And no one dare disturb the sound of silence. Very open sound. Silence like a cancer grows. Hear my words and I'm a high teacher. Take my arms and I'm a high teacher. But my words, I silence. Nice little vocal fry there. It's awesome. Oh. Wow. Okay. 
So he's adding some more power behind the sound by adding this kind of vocal fry. That's where it's kind of like that, that growling kind of um, sound that he puts behind the, the notes, right? And you have to kind of, you have to be careful with that, as I've talked about with other artists, as far as making sure that you support and do it correctly. So you don't really like make your voice hoarse and cause any damage, of course, over time. So I'm sure that he's like other you know, rockers and those that use this this technique as part of their singing, like Marco, right, from Nightwish, right? Uh, he's using a little bit of, the, of that same kind of vocal fry there. But it, I like the, and he's keeping the, the notes are still carrying through, you know, with power. Uh, vocal fry can get to the point where it kind of impacts the sound in a negative way, where it's almost kind of more like shouting. And so it's kind of, it's something you have to balance out um, so that the notes are still coming through and the melody is still coming, you know, strong, but you've got that kind of edge to the, to the notes. So I think he's doing a good job with the balance on that. Let me go back and listen to that again real quick. Yeah. Yeah. Wow. sound is still really open. That was powerful. That was a powerful performance. Bravo to Disturbed. I mean, it's it kind of reminds me of like Pentatonix, how they really try to create a strong message and tell a strong story and and really create like rich imagery through the course of their videos, right? So it's not just like someone standing up there performing a song. Um, they have things going on and, and the story being built out and different imagery to kind of demonstrate that, right? And so if I'm interpreting what I saw there, it almost looked like the music, again, it, it comes back to what I originally thought, where the music is the what needs to be sung or performed or, or um, told, right? The silence is the absence of that music, um, from what I can tell, uh, as far as what they're what they're saying in there, because they're writing the notes, but then those are not sung. And these people that were writing the notes are on this side over here, that's on their own little island type thing. And then those that are creating the music, which it looked like it was the band, are over here with the instruments. And then the shows at the very end, the instruments kind of and the band members coming over in a boat almost like hey we're trying to enable these people that are writing the songs that want to share those songs to be able to do that and to overcome this the sound of silence so that's kind of what i interpreted from that but as far as like the performance and the the uh the vocal um yeah like i said he can sing and i now that I've kind of done a reaction for Disturbed, I'll do a little more research and and kind of look him up and look the band up, of course, and do a little more digging to kind of see what their background is and to see what his background is uh, as far as vocally. But I'm impressed just as a first take. 
with his vocal and uh, the power he brought to the performance. I mean, that was that was very well done. And I can see why so many reactors really enjoy that performance because it's one of the more powerful performances of that song that I've seen. Um, and I don't want to kind of compare this and say, okay, how does it compare to the pentatonics performance or anything like that? Because they're different, right? They're both different in their own ways. They're, you know, approaching it differently. The pentatonics is an acapella group. Uh, so they're gonna have a different approach than, you know, a band like this. Um, but yeah, I I love them both. That they're both really good performances. So I'm excited to kind of uh, do more reactions to Disturbed. Uh, so I'm into this. You know, I like I said, you may like see oh classical <laughs> classical vocalist, right? Uh, he only listens to this type of stuff, but as I've kind of mentioned in my other reactions, I mean, I grew up listening to, you know, classic rock, hard rock, um, not really metal. I didn't really listen to heavy metal, um, but I definitely listened to hard rock, uh, you know, Van Halen, Scorpions, and um, um, ACDC, um, you know, bands like that. So Def Leppard and, and some of those guys, right? Um, so, you know, I definitely am open to that, that, uh, style of music and I'm not sure what the other Disturbed songs are, are, but if you guys could put your recommendations down in the comments, I'd appreciate that. Um, and as I mentioned before, uh, if you haven't already, if you could please subscribe, click on the notifications. Uh, the other thing that I've added, uh, to my channel is I now have merchandise. Um, and I'm in the process of updating my channel art um kind of my main logo and all of that uh to say you know um music lights the world that's my new my new catchphrase or my new uh logo phrase um because i feel it's more in line with um with what i'm all about and uh, the way i feel about the music and that's part of why that i do the the 16 languages as far as the subtitles because i really feel that it's worth it to allow more of you uh, around the world to um, enjoy the music and be able to uh, participate in the reaction. Um, so I do feel that music lights the world. And I think this song actually uh, talks to that and, and how there needs to be more good music around the world and more people, you know, sharing music and um, appreciating the music and participating in, in uh, you know, performing and, and uh, you know, sharing the music with others. So, and I think we as reactors, uh, if we're doing it the right way, I think that's what we should be about is, you know, carrying that through, kind of taking on what Disturbed is doing there to take those instruments and the music to the people and help them to experience it and and participate in it and, and uh, collaborate in that process and learn for themselves through the music. So anyway, um, thank you again for your support. And uh, again, look for more reactions. I'm going to try to ramp things up and get more reactions out. I know uh, I've fallen off a bit lately. There's been major things going on in my life uh, that have kept me from being able to do more reactions. And so I'm, I'm trying to get back on track and and put more out there. So I have a goal to kind of do at least one or two a day is kind of my goal that I'm setting for myself. Uh, Cause that's pretty much what I was doing from the beginning in July when I started the channel. So thank you for your patience and take care.